Thank you very much for staying with us. And later on in the bulletin, we'll be bringing you details of a press conference uh, that just ended. It was held by the minority in Parliament, and they are calling on the International Monetary Fund, IMF, to seize disbursement of the monies they're giving to Ghana. Details shortly. Before we do that, let's go straight to the Ashanti region, where fire has guarded some 18 shops at the Yachian Lane of Roman Hill near the Kumasi Central Market. The timely intervention of the fire service and the police prevented the fire from spreading to other shops in the area. According to eyewitnesses, there was a blackout in the area and just when power was restored, they saw billows of smoke from one of the shops and subsequently the fire. No casualties were recorded, but goods worth thousands of CDs were destroyed. The area houses some financial institutions and a church auditorium. The Ashanti Regional Minister, Peter Anefi Mensah, who visited the scene, assured the affected traders of government support. <coughs> And joining us on the line is TV3's Ashanti Regional Correspondent, Benjamin Edu. He uh, broke the story about the fire outbreak and uh, has visited the scene again and has joined us to give us an update on it. Benjamin, good afternoon and thank you for speaking with us. What is the latest with regard to the outbreak? Yes, for now, officials from the National Fire Service and the police have blocked the main road, linking Roman Health to Fantinu Town. What I can tell you for a fact is that shop owners whose shops were raised down by the fire at the Yard yeah, Echang Lane around Roma Hill in Kumase are counting their losses. The traders were seen rummaging through the debris to see what they could salvage, what they gathered in small groups discussing about the incident. SAM based on some shops at Yard yeah, Echang Lane were up in flames. After an electrical cable reported this backfire, moment after power was restored in an area after a blackout. Fire service managed to dial the fire. This were recorded. But for now, officials from the NADMO and the KND are making frantic efforts to assist the fire victim. Right. Uh, Benjamin, have they been able to establish the cause or they are attributing it to the power outage? Yeah, the, 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 the officials from the National Fire Service are saying that they are yet to investigate into the matter and they will come out after their investigation. But for now, they are not coming out with what really uh, sparked off the fire. Like the one uh, we gave to you this morning was an eyewitness account indicating that immediate power was restored in the community. There was uh, something coming from one of the shops. Right. We know that uh, normally it's either the KJTL market or the Kumasi Central Market that, uh, you know, has recorded fire outbreaks in the past. This particular market we're talking about, the one around the uh, Yachian Lane uh, near the Roman Hill area, is this the first time it has recorded such an incident? Uh, two years ago, there was a reported uh, case around that area. That one was happening in one of the radio stations in Kumasi called Solid FM. And that radio station is opposite that particular matter. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Benjamin. We hope to come back to you for a uh, further update when they are able to establish the right cause of the fire outbreak. And then also, if you speak if you've been able to speak to some of the traders and what they intend to do in the outbreak of the fire.